is it going? I hope you're all doing really well. This week's book is all about stoicism. Stoics argue that in order to live a happy and healthy life, um, the key is strengthening the mind. And so stoicism basically just focuses on strengthening the mind. And by strengthening, by strengthening the mind, stoics argue that we must learn to view things not in our own lenses and in our traumas and how to learn how to view things as they are. And one thing that I really liked about this book, it sounds a lot like um, cognitive behavioral therapy. And that is what really drew me to the book. Yeah, so it's honestly not easy to learn how to view society and everything in a way that is authentic, but also learning not to allow trauma to run your life. And that is was my biggest takeaway from this book because I feel like the society that we live in is very me, me, me. And we have a tendency of not seeing things as they are and seeing them based on our experiences, which is something that cognitive behavioral therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy tries to emphasize. And I thought that it was really cool how even people back in the day, like in ancient Greece, they knew the power that comes when a person learns how to see things as they are, because honestly, it's so easy um, to just say, okay, you know what, this is my previous experience. So then that means that this experience is what I'm going to base everything off, off of, which is not healthy. And he does it in such a way where it really opens your mind. And it also kind of helps you learn that the obstacles that we experience in life, we don't have to run away from them because it's not healthy. What really drew me to this book is the title, because I think that when people are, myself included, when we're in our heads, it can be really hard to see that the situation that we're currently in right now is the one that's going to help us become better tomorrow. And that is why I really, really like this book. And it, it kind of changes your mind a little bit in the way where it's like, okay, you know what? Um, just because the world, just because I see it this way, or just because I am struggling in a certain area doesn't mean that this struggle is going to be there for life. And you can really see this in the book where he's also talking about how it's super important to turn your problems inside out and to learn that that growth that's going to happen is based on the way that you see the world. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I don't want this video to be too long. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also to be continued.